Pulp Secret is brought to you by Zunart's new graphic novel, The Lost Ones. This episode is sponsored by Graphic Audio, a movie in your mind. Hey guys, welcome to The Stack. I'm Alex. I'm Justin. I'm Pete. And we've got a huge episode for you guys. Uh, we are going to follow up on our last top ten list and give you the top ten cartoon series based on comic books, best of all time. Yeah, oh. this is of all, even the future. Even the future. This is, we're done here. When The Stack makes a promise, we back it up. Yes. Uh, and this time, true. for reals, we're only going to do cartoons that are based, based on, on comic books, yeah. not the other way around. Indeed. Uh, first, starting off with some honorable mentions. Honorable guys, mentions. We argued about this a lot. I yes, think. we yeah. did. Uh, just this list in general. So here's a couple we're going to mention but not talk about. Uh, Felix the Cat, yep. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, if you can believe it, didn't make it on the list. Teenage and Ninja Teen Turtles. Titans also didn't make it on the list. But let's kick it off with number 10, which is Superman the Animated Series. This was a great cartoon. Yes, it was. <laughs> the, Number nine. Uh, no, I felt like I felt like the the voices were right on. The animation was just absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic, and uh, they did some great stuff in this cartoon. One of the things that I think is best about this particular cartoon is it really gave a blueprint for some of the later uh, Bruce Timm, Paul Dini stuff yeah, yeah, of uh, creating a through line as well as individual episodes, which yeah. is something that they tried as much before that. Uh, this series never really hit it for me. It was yeah. always seemed like a not as good Batman the Animated mm. Series, which was That's tough. Crazy. I mean, That's I watched crazy. it, and it, it's just based on the character because Superman. It always felt like he was doing the same things over and over again. I mean, yeah. there were some but standout episodes. I feel like if you're gonna do a Superman series, this was the way to do it. Oh, yep. definitely, and it's yep. great that it all kind of lives in the same world of the Bruce Tim. Yeah, absolutely. Stuff. All right, let's uh, move on with number nine, Spawn. Oh. Oh, now, all right. Yeah. This was really it's just... It's a little unfair because it's not TV. It's not a TV series. It's an HBO, it's on, HBO series. That's yeah. on TV. HBO is on TV. I don't know what your deal is. It's not TV. It's HBO. Uh, uh, you can talk about this. I'm just going to go downstairs. Okay, that's fine. I'm not interested. Yeah, go down your downstairs. invisible steps. Yeah. Uh, so anyways... <laughs> When you Tom and Farley. I love your going downstairs bit is just you bending over. <laughs> what? It's, you're not, even, you're you not down even, down. like, doing this thing. You're just oh. like... Oh, Anyways, uh, in, Tom McFarlane, Spawn, uh, like Keith David did an absolute amazing job being the voice of Spawn. It was so creepy, so great. The animation was fantastic. What was great was on HBO so they could show blood and guts and all that Boom. good stuff. Oh, did they? I don't know. Oh. Anyways, but uh, it was really great. Sam and Twitch were fantastic in it. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. It's amazing. Number eight, Spider-Man the Animated Series. <laughs> You want to talk about it or you want to just pop up and laugh? Uh, <laughs> no, that's all I got. <laughs> it's just it's good, yeah. Spider blood, spider blood, spider man. It's funny, what you actually had wasn't much more than what you did nope, have. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, this I'm was a solid here. series. It was well done. Uh, not my favorite, so I don't know why I'm talking about it particularly. Nice. But I think as a Spider-Man series, again, I appreciated the fact that they had some continuity. They figured yeah. out a way to do the Venom symbiote, which was, I think, my favorite yeah. arc on it, right. where it made sense without, you know, bringing in secret wars or anything like that. What I love about it is there was so much continuity with this series. Like, they had so much going on and it all kind of layered back on top of every other thing. Yeah, I think it really did a great job. I mean, Spider-Man and the Amazing Friends was where I first fell in love with the, the, the cartoon on TV. And this did, like, a nice job of this... <laughs> with the art form with... of the cartoon. No, no, but I'm just saying that, like, it really took a, up a, a Are you adding level. another show that we need no, to No, no, it's also entirely unrelated. It's no, it's related. Okay, this is what we argued about. We argued for a while because Pete was like, every cartoon that no, has... No, why are you bringing this up? <laughs> that, uh, no, that's ridiculous. All I'm saying was... I'm going downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> when I first fell in love with He's it, gonna it, be it, down was, there it was a different series, but this series did a great job of bringing up a level. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Number seven, The Tick. Yes, this is my favorite series. I really enjoy this a it lot. It was all oh, hilarious. Favorite. This is my turn. Oh. My turn. Oh, you are greedy. <laughs> You're going downstairs? Yep. Yeah. Downstairs is just spinning in place. Um, the Tick is hilarious. Pete's it's never a used really, really before. funny series. I think yeah. in the live action comic book show, live action, yeah, uh, we show. talked about how Patrick Warburton is perfect. This is even more perfect than that. Uh, hit the humor, hit the action, everything. Arthur is a perfect foil for the Tick. Uh, the villain's chair face is amazing. Some of the funniest stuff, funniest cartoons that are out there. Absolutely the unbelievable. The, uh, especially the art, too, was so great and funny. <laughs> cool. I asked you to bring me a soda. You didn't bring me a soda. Yeah. Uh, let's move on and talk about the 1992 X-Men cartoon. Do, 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 do. Which, of course, do, 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 is the same as X-Men Evolution. Careful. Do, do. 
careful. No, no. Yeah. This He's playing was, his guitar right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Oh, this was a lot of fun. A lot of great stuff. I mean, I never missed an episode. Absolutely just awesome. I couldn't wait for X-Men every day. Morph, come on. Well, who is Morph? Oh, okay. One, yeah, fine. Whatever. The morph, morph thing was... Um, but, like, Beast... Wolverine, like all the, uh, they really did a great job of all the characters. All the X Men were there, <laughs> <laughs> so it's great that they all showed up um, and brought their friend Morph along. Um, this was, I mean, this series was hit and miss for me. It was really good. Um, a lot of the stories, but the art was tough for me. I always thought it was kind of uh, poorly. No, that's that's ridiculous. I agree with you. No, no. Secret Justin. I'm whispering to Justin, by the way, not Pete, because I think that was a little unclear. True. That's what I'm. Oh, wrong. That's exactly what I'm saying. You want to go downstairs and hang out? Sure. Tune out of the record. All right. So after the break, we'll finish the countdown. Thanks for stopping by, guys. We appreciate it. Oh, you did that wrong. You totally. After the break, we are gonna do our top five. So stay tuned. Tease. Yeah, that was a lot better. <laughs> For a project like this, you get a script, and then you turn it into a really sketchy plan. It's just breaking down the basic information. And so after you've broken down the action and interpreted the script, it's just time to sit there with these pages and draw them and erase them a million times. Graphic audio, a movie in your mind. Whole cast dramatizations with cinematic music and sound effects. Use discount code Pulp Secret to receive 40% off your first CD or MP3 CD purchase at graphicaudio.net. So I think the weirdest part about the basement is that Pete has those trophies of all of his dead partners. Yeah, that's a really awkward... Uh... <laughs> Gallery. You yeah, gallery yeah, of horror. Hey guys, maybe someday you will have a. I'll make a trophy of you guys after you're dead. What are you trying to say? I'm just saying you could be a trophy. Are you what you just watched was a short clip from behind the scenes of The Lost Ones, a new graphic novel being released as a free download in June. Oops, you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for more, head over to pulpsecret.com. Uh, click the awesome banner at the top of the page. Bruce Banner. Whoa. <laughs> that was a really good joke. Let's move on with the top. I know, you don't need to tell me. Uh, top five, top five. Let's move on with the top five here. We're going to kick it off with Aquaman. Justin, you love the series. Love you the old Aquaman series. about Aquaman? So great. Aqualad, they rode seahorses. They were on a different planet. It was great. Wow. You it really are so... a sucker for seahorses. Yeah, that's true. T take note of that, fans. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I got to be empty. honest, I have never seen the Aquaman series, so I have no idea whether you're right or not, but I'm going to assume you're wrong. Let's <laughs> well, go on well, with number well, four. number five, then. <laughs> yeah. Number four, The Max. The, Pete, uh, you love the series, oh, right? Oh, unbelievable. I mean, the the drawing, the, the imagination of it, it was great, and it took a risk at the end. Uh, I don't want to spoil it in case you haven't seen it, but you should <laughs> check it out. Uh, yeah. Just... Absolutely, yeah, let's great cartoon. Yeah, well, the last episode came out what uh, twenty-two years ago. Or yeah. Something. yeah, yeah, but you know, back when you were in uh, graduate school, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> for uh, your comic book, for trophy 45. making. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, just a lot of fun. A great character. That actually explains a lot that you went to graduate school for trophy making. <laughs> yeah. That really wasn't comes together. It don't, wasn't a graduate school. Don't judge me. Let's all get stoned and watch the Max. That's what Peter would always say to his buddies. This is a really no, solid but... series. It was, it was um, well done. The art was very Sam interesting. And it's a very adult series, which I think yes, I appreciated yeah. as well. Uh, let's move on with number three. This was highly contested, but I forced it in there. Batman Beyond. This is actually my personal favorite cartoon it's series. It's your top of all one, time. just say it. This is my top one. We wouldn't let you put it there, but it is. That's the... why it was contested. I love Batman Beyond. I I, we, love it. we all love but it, but you want it number one. I think this is such a great, such an original concept. So well done. Such a great uh, lifting off from uh, the Tim and Denny series as well. I think they did such a good job. It's so tough when you do something that's like, hey, we're going to do this character, but extreme, you know, for young yeah. people. They did it better than anyone has ever done it before. And it's a testament to it that it has now entered the regular DC universe. Absolutely. Uh, and was in the Justice League Unlimited series yeah. as well. Which is a good transition to talking about number two, which is the Justice League Unlimited series. Hey! Yeah, I mean, there's been a couple of Justice League series, but I <laughs> yeah. think this was the best one, yeah. hands yeah. down. Again, all the continuity stuff we've been talking about, yeah. it had this amazing overarching continuity to yeah. it. 
ended in such a slam bang fantastic way. And every episode, it was a big story. There were a bunch of characters. A lot was happening. Really yeah. well written. All all the characters were true to the actual DC characters. Yeah. It was fantastic. The One of the greatest things great. I think about it is I've showed Justice League Unlimited uh, to people who have no idea about you know who Shining Knight is or mm-hmm. something like yeah. that. They find most of ways, America. <laughs> most of America, most of DC fans. Yeah. Um, but they were instantly able to get who that character was, who any of the other characters were, instantly by watching the episode, which I think is a real testament to the writing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the voice acting. What an incredible yes. cast. Yeah. Indeed. And speaking of great voice acting, we'll go to number, number one, one the Snorks. Man. Uh, those uh, little gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere? No. Uh, Batman, the yeah. animated series slash the adventures of Batman and Robin. This is a no-brainer. Come on. Yeah, yeah. come on. How else did you think we're going to put at number one? This is clearly the best animated series uh, from a comic of all time. What other series can make an angsty teenage boy cry? Whoa. That was you, right? No, Pete. Oh. <laughs> uh, that was back in 1933, right? <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, this was just... Fantastic. When you were just going to college for trophy making. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this was, I mean, it's solid. I mean, it's, they stand alone. All of them are just, it's so great. Like, I can, <laughs> someone who, like you said before, like, I could be watching TV, flipping channels, I'll be like, oh, this is on, I want to I watch it. it. And, like, people are immediately into it because it's so well done, regardless of the fact that it's a cartoon based on a comic book. It's just a great show. I would also say, uh, you know, this is... Uh, we do our live show at Comic Book Club, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, we that had, is true. Yes, <laughs> we do. I just wanted to check that fact. Every with you guys. Tuesday. We Tuesday had uh, Kevin, Kevin Conroy, who's the voice of Batman on there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've had some ridiculously amazing guests on the show, like yeah. really classic comic book creators, artists. We've talked to tons and tons of people. I don't think we've ever had ourselves as well as the audience geek out as much as they did when Kevin Conroy it's was true, on the show. It's true, it's uh, true. The episodes, some of the greatest episodes, the episode when they're all, all the villains are playing cards. Mm-hmm. Uh, or playing poker on the table, the episode, the POV episode where you see uh, Batman solving a crime through three different cops' yeah. eyes, yeah. Uh, the Laughing Fish episode. I mean, come on, these are yeah, fantastic. I mean, let alone the, obviously the list isn't about this, but Batman: Mask of the Phantasm. Many people oh, consider yeah. is probably the oh. best Batman movie of all. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And we'll that see. comes right out. We'll see when the Dark Knight comes. Plus, out Plus, there are a lot of characters to first appear in this show and then later make it to come. Harley Quinn. Harley yeah. Quinn, yeah. one of the most excellent. Batman. <laughs> Batman. 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 I'm just trying to appeal to the teens, you know, you guys. Yeah, yo, like, extreme or whatever. It's hard for a 35 year old like you to appeal to a teen. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, I'm still in college. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do for, the do for uh, <laughs> taxidermy. <laughs> oh, wow, cool. So you're going to stuff whichever one of us that Pete gets. <laughs> yeah, did you guys check out my trophy room? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, this is my treasure trail. This is, took this in is a weird trophy. turn. If you guys want to protest what we've just did, which I'm sure you'll have some two cents about it, please make sure you post about it. We, we read it all and we appreciate what you think. Especially your insults. <laughs> uh, if you guys have a question, you can call us at 888 or write it to tips at pulpsecret.com. You can upload your video responses on YouTube or comment right here below the video. And if you're ever in New York City, we have a live show? Yeah, yeah come yeah. on down! Oh, okay, oh, you can God. come visit us every Tuesday night Sorry. at 8 p.m. at Comic Book Club, our live show. All the details are at pulpsecret.com. We will see you guys next time. What list do you want us to do next? Let us know. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to go down to the basement. Anyway, All right. So. Well, Happy birthday, down, America. Oh, man, we're out of soda. Hurry up, Pete. Why do you already have trophies of us? Yeah. <laughs> Just in case. Thank <laughs> you.